college is the time when everyone experiences those things such as sex and fun and, and pleasure. But in those years I've had to rot in loneliness. It's not fair. You girls have never been attracted to me. I don't know why you girls aren't attracted to me. But I will punish you all for it. They've all treated me like a mouse. Well now, I will be a god compared to you. You will all be animals. You are animals, and I will slaughter you like animals. I'll be a god, exacting my retribution on all those who deserve it. And you do deserve it, just for the crime of living a better life than me. Putting yourself in his situation, do you sympathize with his actions? Why or why not? I don't sympathize with his actions at all. There are a lot of people who don't exactly have a social life per se. Like, it's not like you have to kiss a girl or have to have sex with someone in order to be somebody. No. <laughs> Obviously something is mentally wrong with this man who's believing just because a girl doesn't find him attractive, he has the right to kill her. No, I don't because I think there's another way to take care of loneliness. Like, you don't have to kill. You definitely don't have to kill. I mean, like, I understand his feelings, but I don't think that it warrants going to the lengths of killing people. Society often objectifies women. Do you think Roger's actions reflect an extreme case of this? I definitely think so because I think that these men, they feel really entitled to women's bodies and so that's what his whole thing was that, oh, you know, they didn't give me love so I'm going to go kill them. And so I think this entitlement is really dangerous and it does stem from the objectification of women. Somewhat, seeing how he was calling them you know, the S word. I guess he kind of would have expected them to want a man, seeing the, how the social meta reflects that. He just says, I'm not getting what I feel like I'm entitled to, so I'm going to kill people, which doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. Yes, of course. He says he wants to dominate them and kill and slaughter every single one of them. I, I think this is horrible how, like, there are people still in this world who objectify women and make them feel inferior. Knowing that he has Asperger's syndrome, do you think society isolates the mentally ill? I definitely think that society does isolate the mentally ill in general, and I think that this situation actually makes that kind of worse because a lot of the media is saying that he did this because he's mentally ill, and they kind of blame it on that, and that only perpetuates the stigma that mental illnesses already have. He seems like a normal enough kid until he starts talking about slaughtering people. How do you think this murder case could have been prevented? I think that from a really young age, boys need to be taught that they are not entitled to women's bodies, just as women should be taught that they are not entitled to men's bodies. Once this entitlement goes away, situations like this can be prevented. But until our culture changes the way that we look at the two genders, it's not going to change. Uh, tighter security around sorority houses and also just basic checkups on all the students to make sure they're feeling fine mentally. I guess better parenting. His parents almost gave him everything and he never knew um, you know, when to stop. I know that he started uploading YouTube videos before he even like had this day of retribution thing that he started talking about. So if someone had just caught on to that and had just gotten him I guess the help that he needed or just to open his mind and talk to him about these things and just to realize that he's he'll be okay I think that would have been most important.